or afternoon. It is Monday and I have lost control of my entire schedule. So I'm in Porter Square here in Cambridge and today I was planning on, I filmed a video and I was planning on putting it up today because that's how insane I am these days. And then my calendar pops up and is like leave at this time to go to rehearsal at 2 and I'm like what? Yeah, I thought it was at 6. No, it was at 2 o'clock. So I had to finish filming like really quick, um, exercise Clover really quick, jump on the bus really quick, and now I'm in Porter Square. I have a half hour to um, chill and grab some food because I didn't have anything to eat today, which is pathetic. There's a new Target here in Porter Square, which I'm gonna check out. Uh, this used to be a Walgreens, but now it's a Target. So uh, let's grab some food and just like take a little, uh, take some moments to zen. Also, here's something traumatizing. Not only am I in um, this one BMOP concert, which is Boston Modern Orchestra Project, um, that's the rehearsal today. It's our first orchestra rehearsal. I totally forgot that I'm also uh, have the first day of Odyssey Opera rehearsal, which is tomorrow. So I'm not really prepared for that right now. So what's going to be happening is I'm going to be cramming tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, I've got the worst, worst scheduling like right now ever. Like I was chilling over Christmas and just not, I just sleeping on like my whole music schedule and now I'm like cram city. So um, let's just take, take a chill pill. I think I'm getting a cold too, which sucks. Let's just take a chill pill, go to Target, get some food. concert week rehearsals and unfortunately I am sick. Um, I have like some kind of cold thing. Um, I've been really trying to take care of myself, taking the Zycam and everything, but I mean I I have I have to be here. So um, I, can, I can still sing, it's fine, but uh, I just don't feel good. So I'm gonna go grab some more Zycam because I ran out and maybe some medicine too. And um, there's a Dunkin' Donuts there, so I might grab like a coffee or something. But um, yeah, good times. <laughs> or something to uh, pump us up and uh, I don't think this this music for this rehearsal that's happening right now or in an hour is not hard so I'm feeling feeling chill I'm feeling cool uh, where should I go I'm going this way um, but you know it's uh it's gonna be a busy week so I don't know if I can get a video up for you not guys tomorrow 
Um, I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm gonna work hard and see what I can do. Um, let's go to Starbucks and get some energy and uh, let's do this. Valentino store with all the gold. I'm living. I normally don't really go for Valentino, but I'm feeling I'm feeling these pieces. Look at this dress. Ah, I need it. Well, I don't need it, but you know, I like it. It's kind of um, Wednesday Adams ish, but. It'd be cool for concerts. One day when I can afford Valentino prices. One day. Good afternoon, friends. It is Thursday. I didn't film anything yesterday because it was just crazy. Um, we tried on our costumes yesterday for um, Harun in the Sea of Stories, and I've got some exposed midriff going on in my costume, and also um, the chest piece is very tight, so I think I have to wear like like a bralette and something not padded, because so that I can like not have my chest smashed but um it's very pretty it's gonna be very cool so um i'm gonna have some of that footage probably for next week's um snapshot vlog but um it's 12 30 we've been playing um ball in the hall ready for his nap he's supposed to be going to a retirement home tonight to go um for his little visited visit with pet pals but um i'm not sure if he's gonna go or not but if he does, his daddy will take him because I think I'm not allowed to go if I have like a little cold, which I think I do. I made some beef chili last night and I am heating this up for my lunch today um, because I don't normally eat lunch before rehearsal, but I'm gonna do it today because I'm just starving. So I also made some cornbread muffins with little jalapenos on top and inside. They're cornbread cheddar muffins. So I'm gonna have one of these and some chili and uh, get ready for rehearsal. I'm gonna walk a hundred miles gonna whistle all the while if that's what it takes to make me smile i'm gonna walk a hundred miles i'm gonna run right up this hill summer sky or winter chill if i gotta take a break i will but i'm gonna run right up this hill It was like Groundhog Day, like I took Clover to the park and I went to rehearsal. I took Clover to the park and I went to rehearsal. I took Clover to the park and I went to rehearsal. It was very dull. So I don't know how good this vlog is gonna be. Right now I'm cleaning up my Dyson because it's got hair wrapped around the brush like extreme, like take a look. Wow. Clover for you guys. See hello, people of the internet. Hello. So this is what my hair looks like today. <laughs> um, I am working on ooh, another dedicated Clover video for the Clover fans out there. It will probably go up on his um, gotcha day, which is the end of January. But um, I have been practicing oh, for the last 20 minutes like a, a solo thing. And I am kind of terrified to audition. I um, sent I sent a message to uh, my voice teacher, who you guys have met in a couple of vlogs, and I said, uh, I am suffering from crippling imposter syndrome, 
here's what I'd like to sing, but I'm afraid I'll be exposed <laughs> and fired from any further gigs with this company. And she uh, set me right and said, that's dumb. Just go audition. It'll be fine. So that is indeed what I will be doing. Um, it'll be my first audition in a couple of years, maybe? I know that I'm supposed to like cut this with like scissors or but I have my scissors, but like for me right now, it's much more satisfying to pull it off. Look at the nonsense. Look, look, I just, I'm, I want to see you just looking at it. I know that a few of you who um, are subscribed to my channel are also performers of some sort, whether you be a professional performer or like an avocational performer. Um, and it's scary. Auditioning is scary. And um, it's something I have never gotten over, um, even as an adult in my 40s. I, I went through a whole thing where I was like, when I would go to audition, my knees would shake and buckle. And it was super embarrassing. Like I would go and sing and I'd be like, my body would like do this whole like anxiety reaction. And um, even worse, when I would give him, be given something to sight read, <laughs> um, I could sight read. I'm actually a pretty good sight reader, but like under the pressure of that situation, I was paralyzed. But um, ever since having read the book Effortless Mastery, which I should probably read again very soon, um, I have since gotten better. Not over it, but better. Um, okay, that looks better. That looks like I can actually vacuum now. Look at the look at what I pulled off of it. That's disgusting. Woo! I want to thank you guys on all the love on my reading mean comments video that I posted on Wednesday. I had so much fun making that video you have no idea and I had even more fun editing it I was laughing at myself I was like I am I was a like, girl you are the silliest but um thank you so much I have had so much fun here on YouTube and that's just like the icing on the cake is like doing stuff like that so I hope that uh I almost hope I receive more mean comments just so I can make a part two I'm I'm guessing that they'll just keep coming um anyway oh he's brought me a toy what have you, what have you brought me? <gasps> the sheep. If any of you guys have dogs, do you get, you guys know how like not durable these are. I've gone through like maybe five or six of these like little like lamb chop toys, but he loves these. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. <laughs> anyway, I don't even remember what I was saying. I was just... But I just want to say thank you for all the love on that woo, video because it, it was fun and I'm glad you guys liked it. Go get it. I really should... Rude. I really should end the video here because it's probably long enough. I don't even know what the footage was. I don't even know if I showed you guys my polka dot plant. You guys want to see it? So I got one of these like plant little sets from Target and it said polka dot plant and I've always wanted a polka dot plant but how much fun is it to grow your own? So I planted the seeds, I did everything they told me to do, and look at the sproutness. I'm so excited to have my very own polka dot plant. It's in a strange little pot, because it's got like a, a, a thing with the soil, and then there's water on the bottom, and I have to check it every now and again, but we do have germination, so I'm very excited for my polka dot plants. Here's the rest of my plant stuff. I got um, succulent, succulent, Succulents up there that's doing really weird things. I don't know if this guy is alive, but whatever, he's fine. Okay, Clover's pulling out all his toys, so I probably should end the video now so we can go play and I can edit this video and get it up for tomorrow because tomorrow I have a dress rehearsal and a concert. <laughs> all right, I hope I don't regret uh, all this footage that I'm <laughs> putting up for you guys. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully next week will be less Groundhog Day-ish. It will be, because there's a new set of things to do. There's a recording session, there's more rehearsals, there's all kinds of action, there's new client act, it's just, it's crazy. 2019 is a mood, we're having it. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Right here.